Welcome to this quick demo of the Stream Application DSL in Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.7. So we've had the pipeline DSL for a while, where you can just use the pipe symbol to connect a couple of applications, source and sync here. And that tells the system that Dataflow is going to manage this destination between these two. It's going to set properties on each so they know about this and they're going to communicate over it. But in the real world, some scenarios are more sophisticated than that. You're going to have apps that have multiple inputs, multiple outputs, Maybe they're kind of acting as a processor for some kind of data, but also a source for a different kind of data at the same time. And we wanted Dataflow to be able to deploy those kinds of application, where it's not going to be managing the destinations. It's going to be up to the apps themselves. So we're going to do that. I'll show you the DSL in a moment. We're going to use this new app section of the palette. How did I register those? So I did it through the shell. Could have done it through the UI. You'll see I've registered three apps. And the important thing is that it says type app. So previously you could have said source, sync, processor, task. Now you can say app. And I registered a user producer, which is just an app that's going to create uh, new users in an area of the United States over time. And a consumer, which is going to compute, it's going to consume those events of users being created and aggregate that data over 30 second periods. And then we've got a simple WebSocket thing that is going to expose the aggregated data on a WebSocket so we can look at it in a UI. So let's wire those three things up using the new DSL. So we've got user producer, the user consumer, and the WebSocket. And you'll see all we've done here is use comma rather than pipe. Um, pipe implies that connection between the two over a channel. Comma just means these are three things that I want you to deploy as one unit, my stream. Let's do that now. Call it demo. Uh, I'm going to deploy my stream and I'm going to set a few properties on that. Uh, and this is where if I wanted to, if the destinations these things are going to use to communicate over are hard coded, I could type properties in here to override those settings. But here I'm just going to tweak the WebSocket one and tune it to say uh, the data I want you to surface on the WebSocket is from the user's count destination. So I think we're ready. Let's deploy that stream. And so how are consumer and producer going to communicate? Well, that is actually, if we look at the source for those applications, you'll see it's, it's coded into the application properties. How are they going to communicate? So this is why Dataflow doesn't need to manage it for you. So that's uh, the consumer, and then the producer is producing it to this destination users. So has that deployed? It is deployed and we should be able to jump on to the port. You'll see we are getting counts increasing over time from those apps and every 30 seconds it resets back to zero. So I can manage this stream just as I would any other stream. So there you go, a very quick demo of what's possible with the stream application DSL. Thank you for watching.